Faith Barbells. Que paso, everybody? My name is Brian Thomas Knight. Welcome to another edition of Faith and Barbells. Yeah. Man. I was reading, I was reading through Reddit. And I like to I like to search Reddit. Hear my chair. But can you do this? No, my chair doesn't do that. Sleep paralysis. Have you ever had sleep paralysis? Man, that just sounds crazy. Sounds like... It sounds like you're being attacked at night. Like, like in your, in your mind, your will, your emotions, right? You're in the spiritual world. Yeah, there's a cure to this. I know there's a guy on... Shout out to Scott Hisaka talked about he has that a lot or he had night sweats sweet sleep paralysis with night sweats I, and I gave my testimony about dreams I've had and how I was able to be uh, how I was able to be um, set free from that man set free from from all that this guy says, I've had sleep paralysis from time to time. I haven't had it in six months, but it sucks when it happens. Yeah, I bet. Dude, this guy posted this crazy picture. I'll, uh, I'll link to the post. Right? Uh, for you guys. Let me save this real quick. I'll, I'll link, to the, link to the post. Uh, gosh, man, that's crazy. Somebody... I've never had it, man. I, I, I think I, I don't think I have, but definitely it's fear, right? Fear paralysis. Fear makes you, gives you paralysis for sure. Fear is a, man, fear is a killer. I mean, it, 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 it literally will control you. That's bad. It will control you. And that ain't, that's not what you want, right? I mean, nobody wants to be controlled by fear, but it will. If you don't, um, if you don't take charge of that, well, I can't, I don't know how I can teach you how, if you don't take charge of fear in your life, look out, it will literally take you and wipe you out. It'll it'll ruin you with no sleep. It'll ruin you with bad. It'll literally ruin you. And that's not what you want. You don't want to be ruined, that's for sure. You don't want to be ruined. No, you don't. This guy says, I can usually kick or move just an arm or something when it happens and pretty much taught my partner that if I start hitting them in the sleep, it's because I'm stuck in sleep paralysis and they need to shake me to wake me up. I'm also so thankful when they do. I bet you are. Oh, man. Well, I mean, there's a cure, and his name is Jesus. Well, brother, don't you realize I got to be practical about this? I got to be practical. Yeah, it's called command the enemy to flee. That's it. That's it, man. This guy says, I have it very often. Just had it last night. It's usually very bad when I cross my arms. This this happened to me last night. I woke up and I was trying to peel my arms apart. Like, I felt like I was in a straitjacket. Terrible experience. Wow, dude. Well, there is a deliverer. And I, I suggest if you have sleep paralysis, I'll pray with you. Email me. 
Brian at faithandbarbells.com, or hit me up at Twitter at Mr. Neitch. I mean, I'll definitely agree with you and believe God for you. That is something you don't want to have, sleep paralysis. This one guy, I've overcome my fear of sleep paralysis for the third time around. And when I finally caved in and went back to sleep, while imagining myself flying over the sea and bam, lucid dreaming. It's when I do every time it happens now. And I welcome it. Wow. He's welping, welcoming it. Anyway, on to uh, more exciting things in the in life. Uh, <laughs> anyway, if you want to check that out, that article out, crazy. It's um, it was posted today, March the first. Go check it out. It's on Reddit. Uh, link is in the podcast. Um, Faithandbarbels dot com forward slash this podcast number thirty five. All right. All right, so um, I got to keep to my word. Well, well. So, good things that are happening in the world. You know, poverty is being less and less. There are more people with jobs. I hope you're one of them. That's a good thing. More people are able to work, and so uh, keep it going, man. More people are able to get a job and pay their bills and help each help each other. You know, you, it's funny. You can't you hear these people um they talk they talk like uh oh well, no Christians are supposed to be rich, brother. Christians are not supposed to be rich. But of course, if you you have no money, you can't help anybody. If you have no money, you can't help anybody at all. You can't help the homeless person. You can't help your family. You can't help your neighbor. So what do you do? You get money. You get things. You help people. You get cars. You get trailers. You get. You help people with stuff. Period. End of story. Right? Am I right? Of course I'm right. That's just natural, the natural world. That's just a natural way of life. It's funny. <laughs> Another thing in the news. Gun sales are higher than ever. March the 1st, 2018, and gun sales are higher than ever. Yeah, it's because they keep talking about banning guns. Banning the AR-15, like it's some kind of murderer. You know what? You know who the murderer is? John 10.10, 10. Jesus spells it out. The thief, the enemy, Satan... The adversary, the accuser of the brethren. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus came that we might have life and to have it more abundantly. So praise God, I'm going to have it more abundantly. But the thief is what comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. It's the thief. Hello. He's the one. Oh, but you can't blame him. Yeah, you're right. You can't ultimately blame you have to blame the person for following through. But the enemy also is the one who can, who is brings evil. He brings every evil work. He brings every evil work. I mean, just that story. Um, uh, Kevin Sorbo tweets out, "What's wrong with people? You go, you go, Chris Pratt. I'm joining the prayer train. I send my best to Kevin Smith." Did you hear that? Chris Pratt got attacked for sending prayers to Kevin Smith. Why? Why? What are people? What's nuts? Are people are nuts, man. Nuts. Okay, I'm back. People are insane. Don't be one of those people. 
right? Don't don't be one of those people. Okay, the topic of the week. I figured it out. It's Arnold. Yes. Dun 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 dun. This week begins the 2018 Arnold Expo. I'm pumped about it, man. I'm going to watch it. I'm not I was planning on going if you follow my podcast or my YouTube channel. I talked about it. I talked about the Arnold and yes, I was going to go to the Arnold and I didn't go to the Arnold, but that's okay. I still love weightlifting and I still love barbell sports. That's what Faith in Barbells is about. I still do it every day. But I'm not going this year to the Arnold. And that's okay. That's okay, but it, what's exciting is I'm definitely going to watch the uh, weightlifting on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm definitely going to watch the uh, powerlifting. I'm going to watch the strongman, and I'm going to watch the uh, bodybuilding. It's going to be exciting. Who will win the Arnold Classic 2018? Man, I'm pumped. I'm pumped about it. I'm pumped about it. Yes, I did. I was gonna, I qualified to lift there this year, but whatever. I'm not. I, I, it's no big deal. Life goes on. I have other goals. I'm trying to get lean. I'm trying to get lean. I can't eat the what I want, stay strong, and lose fat. I have to pick a goal. I picked a goal. Excuse me. I picked a goal. My goal was... I picked a goal. My goal... I picked a goal. Yes. My goal... To get lean. Lose body fat. Yes, that's my goal. And I plan on sticking to that goal. Yes, I plan on sticking to the goal. And that's far bigger for me. I'm 40 years old. We all have our goals. And I, I a big one was um, qualifying for a, a national weightlifting meet. And I did. I'm happy about that. Yes, I'm happy about that. Pumped, man. Pumped. So you got to stick to a goal. Get a goal. So I'm on the mission now. I've, I'm already doing full-on keto I did a, a podcast the other day called War on Carbs. War on Carbs. So I'm pretty much I'm car- carbless, you know. Carbless. Well, I'm not totally carbless. I mean, I'm still doing... I'm still doing like, you know, a few a few grams here, a few grams there. You know, it's not totally like uh oh, I'm zero carb, fat and protein only. Yes, that's the goal. But I still live. I still eat a couple grams of carbohydrates once in a while. Every once in a while I do that. And um it just happens. You know, it might be in a piece of a uh, protein bread. <laughs> Or, you know, some cheese, a little bit of peanut butter, whatever. The carbs are there. They sneak in, those little sneaky sneakers. They sneak right in and they grab you. Man. And they get you. Um, they just they sneak in and they say, I'm going to pull you right out of ketosis. No, 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 no. You have to, con- you got to control things. You control your life. Hello, you control everything. It's your choice, right? Life's a choice, man. Everything is a choice. Everything is a decision. And it is a choice. It's a ve- it's a big choice. But I know you can make the right choice. You, you know what is your goal? Just tweet me what your goal is. At Mr. Neich, M-E-M-R-N-E-I-T-S-C-H on Twitter. Because, you know, that's a, a lot of people, they can't make a goal. That's a big problem. Stating a goal. I mean, that's putting a, uh, that's putting finality to your thought life. 
You know, that's putting like a statement of, okay, I have to do this now that I've said it. Yeah, exactly. 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 Do that. Write it down. Write it on the wall and say it every day. I am on my way to 15% body fat or 12% body fat or 10% or 5 or 3 or whatever your goal is. 3 is crazy. Shout out to my friend Justin. 3%. Right? No, no, no. It's not unreachable. Your goal, can you can make anything. Right? I'm headed to 16% body fat. That's my goal. Okay, I have 11% to go. Which is totally doable. It's totally doable. Totally. So... Either way, you gotta make you gotta make the goal, and you have to say the goal over and over again. Life's a choice, man, or lady, or they. <laughs> Life's a choice. Every decision is a choice. Every time you pick that fork up, every time you turn on the TV, every time you walk out the door, you choose. You have to choose. That's it. Just like we talked about earlier. Choose your God. Choose if you want to be delivered. Find the people in your life that you need. I mean, we all need those people. We all need people to help us. Definitely, we all need people to help us. So, the Arnold is exciting. I chose not to go. I chose some other things. Um... I am going to still do weightlifting, you know, here and there, competitions, just for fun. It's exciting. I still, I mean, who doesn't like to snatch and clean and jerk? I'm also going to do powerlifting. I mean, it's going to be exciting, man. I'm pumped about that. I'm pumped about it. Hope you are too. I definitely hope you're pumped about weightlifting as much as I do. <laughs> But I'm also getting pumped about powerlifting. I'm getting pumped about, you know, a bunch of things. I like, you know, I like the barbell. Bench, squat, snatch, deadlift, all that stuff. Presses. Oh, it's all part of weightlifting sports, man. Iron sports. I wouldn't consider weightlifting iron, would you? I mean, that's real. you don't really use iron plates ever. It's always plates that you can drop and bounce. You literally never use iron plates. I mean, every once in a while, I guess, on for like change plates, like, you know, two and a half pounds, five pounds, maybe 10. But we're talking 45s. When I say iron, our iron plates, I'm talking 45s. Do you. In weightlifting, you never use iron plates unless you're squatting, but then you're then you're not really uh, weightlifting. You know, you're really not. You're just you're uh, getting stronger legs, of course. And that's good, but that's not part of weightlifting. That's just training for strength, strength training. Hmm, it's still an iron sport because there's an iron barbell. So I'm, I'm all for it. I'm all for the iron. The I'm all for the iron sports. I'm all for the sports where you take a barbell, put some weight on it, put some weight on it, and boom, boom! You got yourself a barbell uh, with weight on it. Pick it up now. Deadlift it. Squat it. Press it. Boom! Barbells. All right. I'm just going on and on about whatever. I hope you go. I hope you're uh, you go on and on about the love what you love to do. You know, I also love the Bible. If I didn't, I had to say something about the Bible, right? You know who was a you know who who would, would have been a wonderful weightlifter? Joshua. <laughs> I talked in the last podcast about Joshua and Caleb. 
But God told Joshua, be strong. You know, this is after years of, uh, of, uh, after years of being in the wilderness. Bible says in, in um, Deuteronomy, I mean, Joshua chapter one, rather Deuteronomy. He says, well, Joshua, Moses is dead. Be strong, be courageous, go defeat the enemies. And these are giants. Yeah. These are giants, eh? Yeah. He would have been a courageous weightlifter. Courageous. Find your passion, people. Find your passion. Take it with you. Right? Find your passion. Take it with you. And if you can't become a professional or you can't make a living out of it, you can still do it on the side. But be... Have a passion. This is Brian Neitch. Brian Thomas Neitch. Faith the Barbells Podcast number 34.